Hey guys, this is Drew with Acoustic Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we're going to be showing off a whole slew of beautiful coins from our friend Tyler. If you aren't uh, subscribed to Tyler on YouTube, uh, you will uh, enjoy some of his content. He's been posting just as long as I have, and he has a real knowledge and enjoyment for coins. Well, without further ado, let's get into today's episode. From the Akusha Collectibles team, we wanted to wish you guys uh, a Merry Christmas, and we are looking forward to the new year with you. Um, you know, there's so many things that have happened this year, but we want to hear from you. What are your numismatic goals for 2022? And if you have some additional ones you want to share with us, we would love to hear about them. Comment those down below. Hey guys, I'm here with Vicente. Uh, we just picked up some awesome shirts for uh, our business. Uh, Acoustic Collectibles on the front. Get the merch. Heck yeah, we buy coins on the back. Um, also got a nice polo here. Um, Acoustic Collectibles, all embroidered out, and my name. Um, just, he did a really professional job. Um, I'm gonna put his, uh, his business card in the description for you guys, but where can we find you, Vicente? You can find us in Humble, right in the heart of Humble as well. We're right here seven days a week excuse me five days a week on call on the weekends give us a call reach us at inspiregraphy.com first off the bat we have this beautiful 1892 uh, morgan dollar grade ms64 by pcgs um, it is CAC approved, and it's a, almost 100% blast white. Uh, you know, I think the coin is very nice uh, for the grade, just as CAC put it. And, um, you know, we actually have a buyer that buys a lot of these because he's trying to assemble a nice set. So if you guys have a set that you're trying to assemble, uh, make sure to reach out to us on AcousticCollectibles.com. Um, the reason why I like this coin a lot is because it has a rather clean cheek, and the reverse is... It's almost impeccable, has a really nice strike as well. Up next, we have this really nice 1896-0, rated MS61 by PCGS. The reason why I enjoy this coin is because it's a really tough date for the series. 96S and 96-0 are just so hard to find, especially in mint state. And they also, um, this one has some nice rim toning around the coin as well. Um, another thing for one of my buyers to pick up because uh, he just doesn't have a 96.0, can't find a 96.0 uh, with this much eye appeal and this much detail. And it's a, you know, it's a really nice problem-free coin. Up next, we have this 1896S. It's only we just bounced off on the 96.0. Um, just two really difficult dates. This one is circulated, a VF20. Um, but uh, sometimes you get kind of an ugly VF20 or, uh, you know, a very cleany looking VF20. Um, but this coin, however, looks very original. Uh, it has that nice darkness around the details. Um, the, the holder is a little chipped, which kind of sucks. But overall, you know, whenever you have a 96.0 or a 96S presented to you, uh, it's a good day. Here's one of my favorites from uh, the coins that I got from Tyler. I wasn't expecting this one because I didn't ask him for it, but he ended up sending it in the mail to me. Um, this is an 1885 Morgan Dollar graded MS64 DMPL. Uh, by PCGS. It has a really nice kind of two-piece holder here. Um, you know, one of the early stages of uh, PCGS's development. Um, the, the reason why I enjoy this coin is because the mirrors are so intense. Um, and, you know, it almost is 100% blast white coin. And I really enjoy the hi history of the holder. Um, so all really nice things about this coin. I couldn't be more grateful for an opportunity to hold this one. Here's something we don't buy too often. This is a 1906 Barber Quarter, graded MS65 by PCGS. Um, the coin looks like it, it possibly has been dipped before. Overall, m most of the services look original. Um, it also does have a really nice true view. Uh, we normally do Morgan Dollars and kind of typeset stuff, but as of late, we've been moving into 
uh, a lot of barber things like this one and so this is um, a good way to start something that's you know a gem state coin um, affordable to um, someone that really likes barbers and you know I just overall the, the coins really nice it doesn't have anything that's too distracting with it and um, I like it a lot some oddball stuff that we ended up picking up from Tyler as well um, this is a, a 1967 I think it's an SMS uh, Kennedy half dollar. The reason why we bought this one is because um, it wasn't that nice uh, rare ANA holder that people have been stacking up. Um, got a few more ANA holders from them. Uh, we got a bunch of proof pennies, proof uh, 1963, uh, proof 1959, cameo. Um, and this one's kind of interesting. It's a 1964 proof 66 heavy cameo. Um, you know, just some oddball stuff uh, for some a a collectors. Whenever we get stuff in like this, uh, it's been selling like hotcakes. So if you guys do find something that has a a at a show that's rather affordable, I suggest picking it up because there's going to be somebody um, that just likes to buy a a holders. They like the plastic. Sometimes it's just not about the coin for them. Um, but last but not least, we have this nice 1923 uh, Peace Dollar, great MS-62, uh, buy a a again. <clears throat> the reason why it has that nice, uh, it, well, it has some nice coloring color on the reverse. I'm going to show an extra video for this one. Um, you know, finding piece dollars with color is tough alone, um, and also finding them in A and A is kind of interesting as well. So I had I couldn't pass something up like this, and those are the A and A holders. We got a few more nice coins to show you guys today. Um, but if you guys are enjoying the video so far, make sure you leave a like. Uh, subscribe if you're new because we have new videos coming out every single week and uh, comment your thoughts below which one is your favorite um, and some of these are going to be up on AcousticCollectibles.com so make sure you stop on by over there. With that being said up next we're going to show you this nice 1927S piece dollar. Um, it is graded AU55 by PCGS. Um, the reason why I like buying this coin is because it's a key date and also um, it is a nice starter coin. I think we sold this coin um, for $145 on our website. So you guys need to be watching our website whenever we upload new coins. But yeah, it's a nice piece of it. Another coin that's a decent date, but is a Morgan series is an 1878P, seven tail feather, uh, graded MS61, and it also is CAC approved. Um, it does have a, you know, decent luster on the coin. I could see why they graded it at mid state 61. Um, I do love the OGH factor to it um, and when you're kind of approaching somebody with a coin um, you know they like that that old holder they also like the CAC sticker and they also like kind of that busy font that they, you have on this coin you kind of see that uh, with the 1878 seven tail feather reverse of a 78 uh, just something that really encapsulates a decent coin for an early collector here's something that you don't see every day this is a 1902 barber dime is a proof. Um, I'll actually attach to how many were minted right below me. Um, it has some toning on the reverse. Um, overall, the coin is mint state 61 because of kind of that unattractiveness it has to it. Um, but we did price it very well, and um, this coin was graded by Annex. Um, but like I said about the toning, when I flip it over, it's got that nice purple and green on the reverse. And I'll try to capture that in the light box for you, just so you can see um, how, uh, you know, kind of the balance between when you see kind of an early or, or a, a lesser proof, you know, proof 60, proof 61, proof 62, compared to proof 65 and proof 66 is, um, those ones look very uh, nice, eye appealing, have some cameo kind of look to it. Uh, er, earlier kind of graded ones, proof 60, 61, sometimes just don't have that attractiveness to it like this coin uh, kind of presents itself, but just a rare coin overall, something that's cheap can get someone involved in the Proof Barber series. Last but not least, I wanted to show you guys, uh, you know, we're, we've been talking about old holders today, we've been talking about decent coins. Uh, this one is a 1904 Morgan Dollar, graded MS63 by PCGS. Uh, it has some toning on it. Um, it's a nice starter coin for anybody that's moving into the Morgan series. It is a common date. Um, but with what Tyler was giving us in terms of pricing, uh, we couldn't be more grateful for him. Um, and so we had to pick something up like this. So when someone came into our shop that enjoyed, uh, you know, the Morgan series, but didn't have the biggest budget, they could pick something up like this. 
we really do enjoy uh, the holiday season. Uh, my mom loves Christmas a lot, and so I kind of wanted to give her a quick shout out, show you guys a few pictures of our home. Um, she does a stand-up job, and she really makes this time special for us. Um, so if you guys are interested in looking at some holiday photos or some photos of the seasons when she gets to them, and we'll make sure to include her handle down below. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy the coins uh, that we shared, make sure you leave a like. Uh, like I, we were talking about earlier, comment what your favorite coin was, what your numismatic journey um, is going to have in 2022. And subscribe if you're new because we got a whole lot of nice uh, videos coming out for you guys to view and enjoy. So we will see you guys in the next video.